beautiful babies. <laughs> Galactic Criminal here in today we've got another one take live vocal and violin performance by the one and only Mr. Eddie Berg of Imminence. This shit will never cease to amaze me. I wonder if I'll be able to get through this one without getting emotional. <laughs> Let us dig in. Imminence Continuum. One. What a dapper looking fella. Not a lot of people can actually pull off a mustache either. I think he can. 
handsome guy. <laughs> wow! That was even better than the fucking, than, than the official version. The fuck? <laughs> I have thoughts. I mean, honestly, what can you say at this point? That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. It even sounded a bit different in sections than on the original recording. A little bit different in the vocals in this one. And that last fucking scream, the hold on that, I thought the first hold was pretty solid. That was, what? And it just didn't, like, I love that the, the consummate professionals, when it comes to vocals, who just look like it, it's, like, effortless to them. Like, like him and, like, Will Ramos, I'll say for sure. When you, like, cause those, those are the two guys that I know, for, for the most part, that do, like, these one-take performances. I mean, a lot of people do, but those are the ones that I've watched the most of. And they just, like, they get finished doing the filthiest, most violent-sounding shit. And then they just, it's just, they, they turn it on, and then they turn it off. And it just, it looks totally effortless. And it needs to be. If you're going to be, like, a career band, a touring band, it needs to be effortless and healthy. And it needs, his is definitely. It's definitely. And the voice of an angel. Uh, singing, just, like, the most beautiful fucking shit. I love this song so much, and it makes a lot of sense that he would pick this one to do a, a one take, obviously because it was a single that they released officially, but because they talked about how much this song means to them, and the, just the passion that I feel that he put behind this version specifically, it makes that much more sense at the same time. If you haven't seen it, on their channel, they dropped a sort of short uh, making of the, the song and the music video for this song. And I was actually featured in it. A couple of clips of my reaction were in there, which I am beyond honored to have had happen. It's very cool to see. They talk about how much, like the, the process of writing this album with this song specifically and how much it meant to them. And like the themes of the music videos that they did for these singles as they dropped them was just, it was very, very, very fascinating. I saw, you know, here and there, I caught, you know, like similarities and references to each other in the, in the videos. But I didn't know how, how in-depth it was actually, storytelling-wise, which is, it, it, it makes sense. Their videos are always absolutely incredible. And a guy that looks really good in a suit. He looks really good in a suit. Looks like he would be a good, uh, a good villain for James Bond. <laughs> Twirling the mustache and everything. It was beautiful. I had no doubt in my mind that I was going to absolutely love this. And it even went further than my expectations. It exceeded them by a lot. I love the shit out of this. What do the rest of you fuckers think of it? If you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Cool, so if you link in the description for this video, so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself, full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.